Today on Logan Lee Adventures, the mountains are calling and so are the cowbells. Bonjour, y'all. It is day three of my press trip around the Savoie Mont Blanc region in France. So we're gonna have a lot of things to do in day three. Definitely, if you haven't been following, you better be checking out what day one, day two was because that was packed with excitement. But day three, we're starting off in Tons, which is where we stayed last night as well. And last night we had an amazing, magnificent dinner, very French dinner. But we didn't get to really explore the town because it was already dark. It's a sleepy little village, well, town in this part of right near Lake Anase. So we're gonna just walk around, see it as the town wakes up now. And also as I wake up. And already I can see like there's this beautiful church cathedral like smack middle. Our hotel, Hotel du Midi is right there. And I love these pastel buildings with the timber. This is the gorgeous church from what I can see from my hotel and from the main square. So let's go in and check it out because I'm really curious what it would look like inside. It's like a very gothic from the outside facade. But already you can see it's very Baroque on the inside. Y'all know how much I love pastries and I think I found the best pastry patisserie in Tons because look at this. This is just, it looks incredible. It is calling my name. I just don't know what to get because there's so many different options here and I just wanna order them all but I know we're gonna have a fabulous lunch and we're still going to check out the cheese here so I need to pace myself but it's so hard y'all okay um should go with the classic eclair let's take a bite into it because this is breakfast in France baby mmm oh my goodness you know what I mean? This is the custard. It is nice, like, coffee flavor. It's just subtle enough. It's like it's not so overwhelming that the subtlety blends in so well with the dough. Mm. This is such a beautiful morning because just stepping out of the pastry, the tisserie, look, the sun came out. So over the mountain, and now it's shining on the little town of Tons. Beautiful it is when the sun is out. I was like, when I woke up this morning, I was like, maybe it's overcast, but no, it was just because <laughs> the, the sun hasn't rise above the mountains yet. Wow. Mm. And now you can see really the colors of the buildings. walk around town a bit, explore what's there's more to explore, there's more to eat, there's always something to eat in France. I mean it's France. It's been such an Indian summer if you've been following along with my travels on this press trip around Lake Anase and the Savoy Mont Blanc region. But finally, I'm getting a little taste of my favorite, favorite season because it is officially already autumn. But because of the Indian summer here and how it really feels like, and it's just so warm, I can wear like this cozy knit. But look like how, like, there's nothing underneath it. But finally, I get to see changing of these leaves and how gorgeous this little teaser is. I can't believe 
that in a few weeks, this whole region will be filled with all these foliage of red, orange, crimson, gold, just like this everywhere. But for now in Tones, this one street has this beautiful teaser. This is so cool. So, there's a milk vending machine for fresh milk, like fresh pasture milk. So here, literally is 24 hours, there's a vending machine. So you literally put 40 cents, 40 cents euros in, and then you get a bottle. And then with the bottle, you use 120 euros, and you can fill up for milk. Like, that's wild. That is so cool. Alpine pastures of La Grande Bournon, which is up in the French Alps here, and it is just so pastoral with all the cowbells ringing, all these cows everywhere. Of course, in the cradle of the mountains here, too. Y'all think this is a bell? Should I? <laughs> okay, well, no, Crystal. No, no, no. <laughs> I was gonna say Crystal nodded. This? What is that? Is it a bell? Like, is it a bell? Should I try it? I mean. Yeah, of course. It's a. I don't know. It's. What is that? I'm sure it is, but I don't Of course, in the winter, this place is all white with snow and is popular for skiing. But if you can see around, like, it's really pristine and well preserved. There's only a few lifts around and other than that like there's cows there's huge meadows wide it is so peaceful here Fresh milk time. No. Keep them to food for once a bit. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Just for the picture. <laughs> Merci. You don't want anything? No. 
This is this is from the vending machine that you got, Patrick. Yes, so cool. And now we're in like a very fitting location. Oh really? It's actually really sweet, like than I thought. Yeah, it's very nice. I would love to spend each morning like this. Okay, well, I need multiple lives because I also love spending mornings in different coffee shops with croissants and eclairs like this morning down in Tones. But I also love spending mornings like this where, you know, you're just going for a stroll up 1,555 meters high and then just hearing cowbells and just being able to really clear your mind and disconnect from the bustle all the time that you find yourselves in. I mean, when you're in nature like this, the French Alps, it's really easy to just feel peace with yourself here. Continuing our walk down to, now this part is called Col de Ans. We were all the way down there. And now we're actually at 17, 20 meters above. So we're getting even higher. And here with this view, I mean, come on. Not gonna lie, I'm starting to run out of breath. I'm feeling it. But good thing is fresh mountain air, that helps. And we also just had fresh milk from the Alps. That also helps. I am being so healthy on this trip, aside from the humongous portions of food that I've been devouring, but this burns it off. Now, now these are the autumn colors that I'm talking about. And these are also like over there where you can see a little bit flat right here. That's where the blueberry pickings happen in August. But now we get the beauty of the red, orange, yellow, my favorite season. This is so cool. So this is like a cow stable. With a really cute puppy. Yeah. So young. You okay? Okay. so cool so you can see all the cattle will go here especially during the winter and this is the restaurant that we're going to how beautiful is this restaurant La Chemini. and then you get all of these alpine views as well when you're sitting outside on the terrace it's perfect for lunch beautiful view. Let's also check out inside the restaurant because I know the interiors are just as gorgeous too. We got this very cozy spot back here with this amazing view of the mountains that we saw out there. Look at this road. We're going to just start with lunch here. After lunch, we're now back in Le Grand Bronon. 
So this is a commune resort town, but it also stretches all the way out into where we were walking earlier on, as well as where we were having lunch in the mountains. So this is kind of like the starting point of it all. And we're going to be exploring a little bit of this beautiful, beautiful town. I mean, look at these houses. Look at this church. Look at this cool orange tree that matches my hat. This is the pastoral life. It is such well preserved to how it was back then. This is such a cool terrace that they have here as well. It looks out into the town here. But what a really well cool, well preserved house here. And all these like different traditional tools and artifacts and relics all around. It's really cool that we can just walk around and explore. And look, this is the outhouse that they had back then. So this is the going up to the second floor of this traditional chalet. Look at all these different tools that they used back then. Wow, this is actually huge up here. Yeah, this is much more roomy. So you gotta imagine up here back then with all the stacks of hay, because the hay is the food for the cows. So it took a lot of manual labor. I mean, life definitely have improved and upgraded because this one, so this is like a traditional chalet built I literally built from 1830 but the thing is is that you have to imagine like a family back then was like multiple kids and all living under this one roof this is the huge chimney so in the winter they would actually hang up their meats inside so downstairs because it connects all the way downstairs hang up on ropes their meat so they get the smoked meat from the fire and so you know they have really yummy meat but you can see also holes all around because this is like ventilation back then for the style, the pack pack haze. The, so the, the hay won't get damped and there will be proper ventilation. But think about it, that means during winter it is freezing here. Like it's really cool because this is actually one of the 400 different traditional chalets that are still existing in the Grand Bourneau. But the Grand Bernon, this region, that's only 400. So imagine how many different chalets are all around. I love how like it's such a posh resort town. And then you get bursts of wall art everywhere. So it's really nice, like vibrancy to it. Look at all these cowbells available. Is this, is this some chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. So this is a really cool artisanal shop that specializes in leather as well as cowbells as you can see here so many different sizes of cowbells and all these leather, different wallets, leather bags here. So of course, because this region, there's so many cattle, so many cows that we saw all over town. With the different art and sculptures. Bonjour! So we have a master class in leather making with a artisanal leather worker here.
Didi, so Didi, he's one of the last uh, master artist, artisana of the level in, uh, oh, wow. in this region. And um, they told you, so he's doing some some everyday everyday things and up to you know guys and things. So he's going to tell us a bit more about, about his job. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can see that here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look, on fait tout ça, on prend. Ah. Oh. Du pot. So that's the, the big bell. Yeah. Like this, they're using it when they go up or down the mountain. Do you know I told you about the yeah. en montagne les montagnes? So it's yeah. called yeah. 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 But on a daily basis, they're just wearing smaller ones. Mm -hmm. And why do they have big ones? Because it gives the rhythm to the cow. Dum, oh, wow. dum, dum. So they're walking all at the same path. Ah. Mm -hmm. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Really the cows cool. are clever. It's working also for the restaurants to do that's it for day three of my Savoy Mont Blanc press trip. Tune in for the final day in the next vlog. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like and a comment below.